Hello, friends. Welcome to another exciting lecture in Module 1, Terms and Definitions. In this module, we are going to examine types of data. What does the term data mean? Well, data refers to a set of values. I want you to pay careful attention here. The word data refers to a set of values. Notice that the set of values implies plural. Values, not a value. Data refers to a set of values. So the phrase data is a plural term. The singular of data is datum. Now, which of the following is correct? The data is of interest to us. The data are of interest to us. Now, the quick way to solve that is just replace the word data with a word that you obviously know is plural. Let's use the word elephants. Now, let's say it this way. The elephants is of interest to us. The elephants are of interest to us. Which of those is correct? Absolutely, the latter one. The data are of interest to us. Now, there are basically four classifications of data. Nominal data may be grouped. Ordinal data may be ranked. Interval data have equal distance between. And ratio data make sense to compare. Now, we'd ask ourselves, what does all this mean? In order to understand this, we would look at some examples. Now, nominal data can be grouped. Here we have two groups, female, male, just simply broken out. You're either a female or a male. Uh, we have the group cow or tree frog. We might want to do a comparative study of the attitudes of cows and tree frogs. So we have nominal data when we compare them. Uh, ordinal data can be ranked. Um, on a Likert scale, rate my instruction at excellent, good, below average, or poor. Now, I know that his name was George Likert, and we call it a Likert scale. But uh, we just have to, have to bear, the, bear our cross as we journey through life. Now, the reason these can be ranked is because, you know, you can look at it and make some sort of judgment call, but consider that the difference between your excellent and good and your good and average, below average, or maybe wi may widely vary. And these may not be the same across all people. Uh, some people just don't give scores of excellent and others don't give scores of poor. Now, what is my grade? Grades I would consider to be ordinal data uh, simply because we all know that an A in one class does not equate to an A in another class. We've all had some teachers that didn't want to give any A's, and we've had teachers that gave all A's. I always sought those teachers who gave all A's. Now, interval data are data which can be equally spaced. Uh, blood pressure readings, for example, a reading of 120 over 80. Is, is equally spaced in, in, the, in the numerator and the denominator. But when we, when we look at blood pressure, we notice that you, you really can't say that a blood pressure of 120 over 80 is half of a blood pressure reading of 240 over 160. Doesn't make sense to, to compare them very easily. Now, ratio data makes sense to compare. Uh, ratio data includes such things as cost, distance, percent. A uh, dollar is half of two dollars. If we paid four hundred dollars for tuition for a class, that's half of paying eight hundred dollars for tuition, and eight hundred dollars is half of paying sixteen hundred dollars. Makes sense to compare. One foot is half the distance of two feet. Uh, Fifty percent is half of a hundred percent. I hope that makes some sense to you. Now, in order to draw this in and let you, you see how it operates, let's think about data. Now, there are data which are not even nominal. When you run across some of these, you, uh, you may want to do some qualitative research. But nominal data are those which can be grouped. Within, the group, data. within the group of nominal data, we have ordinal data. Ordinal data 
are data which uh, can be ranked. So some of those which can be grouped can be ranked. Within ordinal data, we have interval data. Interval data have equally spaced ranks, but the really powerful group is that of ratio data, which can be uh, compared. And sometimes the way of saying that ratio data can be compared is to say that they have an absolute zero. Uh, I'm a mathematician. That works for me. Now, there are six new terms to know. The first of these is data, values in a population or sample. Datum, a single value in a population or sample. Now, remember, the data are of interest to us and the datum is of interest to us. Nominal data can be grouped. Ordinal data can be ranked. Interval data are equally spaced. And ratio data are data which, for which comparison makes sense. Now, these terms, these types of data are important to us because they will later on determine the processes that we use to evaluate them. Now continue your journey through the land of nerd. I'm very proud of you. You are gaining steam. As always, I thank you very much for your support and remind you that it is your patronage to the Dr. Dog which keeps my family fed. You have a wonderful day.